Hi guys, today I'm going to do um, zinc sulfate, which is a white powder. So first, let's measure out about um, 30 grams of copper sulfate. Alright, this is my digital scale. I'll zero it out. Alright, I just put 30 grams. Alright, that's about 30 grams. Next, I'm going to boil about um, 30 millimeters of hot water. So, I'm going to boil it. It's been about like 10 minutes. And you can see it's steam it's just starting to come out. So, that means that it's about to boil. So, for this is ready already. So I'm just going to take my copper sulfate and it's too hot to touch, alright? And just add it to the water to the copper sulfate. And you can see it's very hot, alright? Now I guess let's use a stir and just mix it, make all the copper sulfate dissolve. You can see it turns a dark blue color. Okay, so now what I did, all the copper sulfate dissolved. So I put some zinc metal, which you could actually get anywhere, like in pennies. In this case, I used pennies and um, zinc carbon batteries. Zinc carbon batteries are pretty good. Because you could get manganese dioxide, carbon electrode, and zinc metal. So in this process, or reaction, copper metal is getting out of the equation, and you're getting zinc sulfate. So you're trading ions. So copper is forming on the zinc. And this process may take about, well, probably like about um, one day, and you'll get pure zinc sulfate. It's been about um, three days, and this is the finished result. This is pure zinc sulfate. And the next step is to filter it, or first is give it a shake, and then filter it. Okay, I'm using this, and the good idea is to put water. So let me get my water. Dry water better. Dry water is best. Okay, so just give it a wet with the dry water. So, the next step is pour all of the zinc sulfate right here. And all of the left floor right here is pure copper metal in powder form. So, all the zinc sulfate is collecting. It looks brown, but it's not. It's because my beaker, it got um, dirty with some other chemicals. So I'll show you when it's finished. Okay, so I'm done filtering and you will end up with the pure, clear liquid. So the next step is evaporating it or you could boil it down. And that's what I'm going to do. Alright, so turn on the heater. So I'll show you when it starts to convert to a powder. So now that it's boiling, a good idea is to put a watch glass over the beaker because a lot of 
pink sulfate is been is being splashed out. So that's a good idea. So I'll show you when the reaction well it's not a reaction, when it's finished and it's all to a powder. So now it's really close to a powder and you can see it starts turning all white. Okay, so I'm just waiting here. So I'll show you the finished product. So the reaction is done and you can see everything right here is like a powder. So the the step to take off use a spatula and just do this and you get all the white powder. So I'll finish and show you when I'm finished. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll show you when I'm finished doing everything. Okay, so this is a finished product. And the next thing to do is to grind it with the motor and pencil. So that's what I'll be doing. So I'll show you the finished results. To so now that to a powder, the next step is to put the container. So that's what I'll be doing. Okay, my container, my vial. That's done. So now I have pure zinc sulfate. I think it's lab grade. So this is my zinc sulfate. Mm -hmm. And you could do a plating on pennies. I'll be showing this video soon. So please rate, subscribe, and comment. See you.